What's up, you who clicked on this video? It is I, Snabmo here to talk about video games. So, I like GTA. Those games are neat. GTA Vice City, San Andreas, and that one with the guy who can't talk, can't swim, but can take me on a nice dinner date, if he so chooses. I'm a fan of these here games. So, you would expect me to be one happy hopping lima bean when I heard rumors that Rockstar was going to be remastering all three of those games. Well, no. I didn't really believe said rumors because Rockstar could sneeze, and if there were at least six sneeze droplets, you bet your left ass cheek, everyone would be tweeting out about how GTA 6 is confirmed, OMG, no fucking way! No, seriously. Look at this fertilized horseradish. People think this license plate from the GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced trailer is hinting at GTA 6. Why? The license plate reads 6ISAL890. 6 is a late 90? Meaning GTA 6 is going to be set in the late 90s? No way! I'm serious, people will make GTA 6 theories out of anything. So, I didn't really buy these rumors that Rockstar was going to be doing remasters. It's not really their thing, at least it hasn't been in the past. So, I didn't really believe it. I even tweeted out that they weren't happening, which, unlike most people, when I tweet, I'm never wrong about anything. Then a trailer dropped. Oof! Turns out they were remastering all three games. Neat. My initial thoughts upon watching the trailer were, wow, the environments look great, but the character models look like inside-out trash cans. What the fuck did they do to Sweet's face? He looks like he sniffed a really nasty nuclear fart, which was probably his own. And Misty? She looks... special. <laughs> also, they made Tommy thick as a bowl of ranch dressing. Don't know why I said that. Anyways, I was mildly excited, but a bit skeptical that these remasters would be good. The big red flag came out when I found out that Rockstar didn't make these. Some company they acquired called Grove Street Games, formerly named War Drum Studios, made it. These wieners were the same ones who made the Xbox 360 version of San Andreas, which was just the mobile port they made crapped out onto the 360. And it was terrible. It was full of bugs and pretty much every aspect of the original was butchered. You can watch an entire two-part series from Vadim M that goes all into how cucked, ducked, and sucked that version of San Andreas was. It was bad. But now these slippery artichokes are remastering the whole trilogy? Oh no. I predicted before it came out, this game is going to be buggier than A Bug's Life. The movie. The game. Well, the trilogy is out now. Let's talk about it. I personally have not spent my $60 on this shit. I tend to wait and see how the game is before buying it. I have played San Andreas a bit because I have Xbox Game Pass and I didn't have to pay for it. Hashtag peasant life. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag when is dad coming home? I haven't played a lot of it, but in my experience, it looks nice. The aiming is actually worse than the original games in my opinion. It looks pretty dumb, but I haven't played enough of it to give much personal opinion. But the internet has spoken. And by spoken, I mean this game has a fucking 0.7 on Metacritic right now. And oh boy. There are a lot of clips out there showing the many issues. First of all, there's a video doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the OG San Andreas and the remaster. A ton of graphical effects like the weather are just worse in the remaster. Like fog, sandstorms, and the rain even looks worse. In fact, the rain in all three remasters is probably the worst rain effect I've ever seen in a game, movie, or anime. What is this amalgamation of refried beans? The rain follows the character around like it's locked to the camera and not actually in the world. It falls in a grid pattern. It looks icky. Like your mom. Another issue in San Andreas is that the render distance is great. Too great. As in you can see the entire fucking map. Back on PS2, there was an atmospheric and moody fog on the map. 
This was because of the limitations of the console, but it also hid how small the map really was. We all know San Andreas feels big because of how dense the map is, but look at it on the remaster. You can legit see the entire island from the top of a building. It looks terrible. Why didn't they just keep the fog? And again, going back to the character models, they just look like aborted tiger sharks. Some of them do look okay, like Claude. He looks like a Chad now. But look at this female homo sapien. She's cross-eyed. Why? Look at my man Lance Vance dance. They did him dirty. He just looks weird now. His eyes stare into my soul. Don't even get me started on the first GF in San Andreas, Denise. Look at the original Denise. Looks like a PS2 model, sure, but she looks human. I suppose. Then look at the remaster. What? She looks like a pug that got left in a hot car in the Walmart parking lot for six hours. A lot of people say the new character models look like Sims, and yeah, <laughs> they kinda do. There are already compilation videos of a ton of glitches in these remasters up on YouTube, and the game has been out less than a week. There are insane graphical glitches that make you feel like a rat cooked your food, and you liked it? There are glitches with the physics. Oh! Glitches that make you fail missions. That's always nice. Then there are glitches that turn the game into a Helen Keller simulator. Glitches that make you fall through the map. Glitches that make you become the worst superhero of all time. Seaman. Or Captain Water, or whatever his goddamn name was. The game's got glitches! You get the point. There are an endless number of bugs being shown off from these games. I will now show you some in the background while I read you some interesting wombat facts. Did you know that wombats are marsupials? This means they have pouches for their babies. Pretty quirky. Wombats can run at speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. Bet you can't do that, bitch. Wombats poop cubes. Why did I read that one? Did you know that during bushfires, wombat burrows are shelter for other animal- What the fuck is going on in these clips? Look, I already know what some of you fanboys are going to say. Uh, wombat. I haven't had any glitches personally. Plus, they can easily patch these. The developer even said they're working on updates. That's fantastic. But the fact that the game is so glitchy, that entire compilations are being made already, and people are complaining that they are ruining the experience, that's an issue. These games are $60. Also, am I the only one who is sick and tired of games being released as a complete mess and being fixed later? It's laziness and greed. Rushing a game out half-assed and slapping a band-aid on months later. Speaking of greed, I really need to get into the main issue I wanted to talk about in this video. What really twists my titties? Take-Two Interactive continues to be the worst gaming company in existence. I mean it. They make EA look like a nice little old grandma. Before the remasters were announced, Take-Two was threatening to sue any modders who made graphical mods for these GTA games and forced them to take them down. Which at that point, the rumors of a remaster were basically confirmed because Take-Two will do anything to make sure their profits are maximized. Even bullying their own fans who were passionate enough to make a fucking mod making the game look pretty. Rockstar also took down the original games. You can't buy them anymore. If you never bought any of these games, your only option now are these remasters. Yeah, that's right. I don't own Vice City or GTA 3 on PC or any other console, and now I can never get them. Only the remasters. That is the most scummy, greedy bullshit. Instead of making high-quality remasters that people would want to buy just because they're super good, Rockstar made it so you had no fucking choice. And hell no! We can't have people making graphical mods for those games. Look at their work compared to ours. Makes us look like kindergartners playing with crayons! Better shut down those mods. Give us money! This is my main problem with the remasters, and what personally makes me not all that interested in paying for them. 
you're forced into getting them. Take-Two and Rockstar knew that their work wouldn't match up in quality to the modders because they wanted to put in the bare minimum effort that they could, so they struck the mods down. They knew the remasters would be inferior in many ways to the original games, and that most people would prefer just playing the originals. So yoink! You can't buy them now. I don't quite know if the GTA San Andreas remaster is worse than the 360 version that it replaced, Probably not, because that was borderline unplayable, but as it stands right now, you'd have a better experience playing the original games, GTA 3 and Vice City, in terms of a stable game. Yeah, these remasters look pretty, mostly, other than some of the character models looking like Swiss cheese, but these games are super buggy right now. A lot of people just aren't happy with these remasters, and feel like they're really just a lazy cash grab. But Rockstar and Take Two don't really give a shit, and locked you out of having any option. Fuck Take Two, they're a dog shit company, and they can eat dried paint without any milk. In my opinion, the golden days of Rockstar are over. Red Dead Redemption 2 is likely their last game that'll have that signature Rockstar quality to it. All of the big names of the company who made the previous games great, all of the GTA games and both Red Dead games, they're all gone. Dan Hauser, Laszlo Jones, who was a lead writer, gone. And now they're releasing half-assed shit like this, and re-releasing GTA V for the millionth time. Seriously, a kid born when GTA V came out and was shitting their diapies is now 8 years old and is probably playing GTA Online now, as it's still being milked to this day for every penny it's worth. Just like EA and Bethesda, Rockstar know they are too big to fail at this point, and that people will buy whatever they put out. Like GTA V, again! With a trailer showing you that nothing is different and it's the same game. Eight-year-old little Timmy will still have his parents repurchase the game, and Rockstar knows this. They don't need to try anymore. Effort and passion are optional at this point, and this remaster clearly had neither. Anyways, that's about all I wanted to say about these GTA Trilogy remasters. Thanks for watching, fuck Take Two, and have a good one.